I wanted to share this project with you that I've got going on where I'm making a spatial link chart. I'm using a couple different Python packages that I'll talk about and I'll show you some of the code and how I'm using this but the idea was to take the concept of a link chart and then just put it on a map and right now my code is just exploring how that's done so I'll show you how I did it and then give you that code it'll be in the description here so um, the big thing that we did was I just generated basically a fire and then fire station location so these are um, locations in Nashville and these are these aren't real it's really based off of anything real it's just uh, all hypothetical data so the big thing we did we set a, a theme we kind of colored all of the nodes so all of the points and then all of the edges all of the lines that are connecting those points on the map and we made some data so we have these different um, stations and then we have a fire incident and all of those have their latin long coordinates and then we took this data converted it to a data frame and then we did a little bit of distance calculation and then from there we're looking for the closest uh, locations to the actual fire incidents so that's part of the sort of spatial analysis we're doing with the link chart we're checking i'll show you the visual again where basically we have a fire incident and then we want to say okay what stations are closest to that and which ones could be the most able to respond so if you see station two station five are farther away than these stations here so station one would be i think the closest and then station four and then three so these three would be the top three closest and that's how we're getting that so from there what we're doing is we're building a network x graph so we are taking the locations and we're turning those into nodes. And then we are also making an edge off of the fire incident related to the, the various locations. So those fire stations. And we're labeling them appropriately, like with their the name of the location, which if you see up here is you know, station one, station two, station three, station four, and so on. Okay, so we're using Network X, GeoPandas, Matplotlib, um, Contextily, and Shapely. So all those things combined. We're bringing all this in, setting the points, putting those on a map. From there, we're going and setting up where those are all gonna fall on our plot. And then from there, we're drawing the network X. Um, like we're drawing all the nodes and edges on the map. And then from there, we added a base map, some labeling and some, some themes, right? And then we just made a, uh, a title for the plot. And so you kind of see it all assembled here. So. This I think is really interesting um, and, and not that complicated to do. I didn't really know how to combine these things together until I tried this out. And I think that this is sort of definitely unique um, and maybe helpful to you if you're trying to pursue something of that sort. I'll show you some of the other stuff that I was working with. So one of the things I did is I took um, airport locations throughout the United States and then I took them and I sort of combined them by the subregion which is basically the state and then just sort of uh, on a more like continental scale you can see how you could relate different locations based off of a common attribute so these are all airport locations but then the subregion connects these nodes and so it's it's not really zoomed in enough for you to see, but you can kind of see like Alaska, those are all connected. You can see down in Florida, those are all connected. Um, and some of these ones in Texas are more visible. Some of these other ones are a little bit more jumbled. Um, that is 
just this is just kind of a broader example I wanted to see uh, at what level it would get too too hard to visualize so that's sort of what I explored there so if you've hung out with me this long thanks for watching I'll drop the code below if this is helpful for you or you have any questions just throw a uh, comment in the description and I'll see you in the next video